It's exciting, but it's also very bittersweet and emotional moving on, you know? Emotional, I'm like I'm walking to tears over here. but this is a very bittersweet day for Rob and I. Daddy is behind me playing with the kiddos and we got this house, it's a rental house, but we got it when I was 15 weeks pregnant with Aria. So I clearly remember cleaning out underneath the kitchen sink, being pregnant, trying to get everything ready because this was our first house together and we created this beautiful home. We now have Aria, she's three years old, Emma's gonna be two years old. So. Our whole life basically started in this house. What do you think, babe? I think it's 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 mind-boggling, really. When we moved into this place, it was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know if we could afford it. I knew we would afford it, yeah. but it was like so expensive. And we were just, you know, the channel was just starting to take off. And Dear Me For Dinner, he's talking yeah. about Dear Me For Dinner, our other yeah, channel. Our other channel. And, um, you know, moving in, I was like, the place, kind of smelled like a dog yes. that was super dirty and yeah. Sarah went to town she was like in full-blown nesting mode she uh cleaned all the floors and cleaned out every single cabinet and yeah. just did her thing and next thing you know we went and we bought all of our furniture everything at an auction yeah. so that we could afford to get it but this is the place where we brought the girls home I mean we raised our two little girls here I know Arya's only three years old but that's the first three years of her life was in this house. So it's bittersweet to close this chapter, but I'm really excited to start our next chapter because we're building our dream home. We built it how we want it. It's gonna be a forever long-term home. Um, but still, this is like a stepping stone to get where we are now. And it, when, like Rob said, when we moved into this house, we were doubling our rent. So it was super intimidating at the beginning, but we knew we were gonna make it work. We have to have everything out by tonight. This is our last official day, so we're like, Going through the rooms, they're all empty now, um, and we're reminiscing, talking about different things. Speaking of reminiscing, Rob, what was, what was your what? most favorite memory in this house? So, my my most cherished memory of this home was when we left to go have Aria. You know, we we talked about in that video looking back inside because our home will never be the same. Our good friend Melissa Scarduzio said. When you're leaving to go to the hospital, look back in the house because it's never gonna be the same. The same. So, there we are. What do you think, honey? What's on your mind? <gasps> I have butterflies. Do I'm you? Excited. Oh. There's are a lot you? of my butt. <laughs> so I remember walking out of that front door, looking back inside, knowing that. Lord willing, we were gonna be bringing a baby home. It's exciting, but it's also very bittersweet and emotional moving on, you know? Emotional, I'm like I'm walking to tears over here. My favorite memory by far was um, telling Rob when I was pregnant with Emma, it was Christmas, my parents were here, and I still have the footage. You guys have never seen it. So while I gather myself, let's watch it. That's for me. That's your um, boutonniere and corsage, oh, or whatever you call it, for the wedding. Oh, it is? Both of yours. Cool. I've never I seen like something it. like yeah. that in an ornament. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's not diapers. <laughs> let's see what we got here. Could be a Tasmanian devil in here. Oh, you might need the knife. I kind you of overproofed it. Okey <laughs> Wow. 
it got small. <laughs> what the heck? It got really small. You want a magnifying glass for <laughs> There's gonna be a piece of coal in here, is what I'm expecting. Do you have any idea? I have no earthly idea. Well, that thing really got small. I thought you were getting a big present. What the heck is that? Ooh, wow, we're preggers. Are you kidding me? Are you pregnant? Wow. Are you pregnant, Sarah? <laughs> Congratulations there, bud. Very exciting. Boy, you're an instant family, man. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. Watch the baby, watch the baby. Watch the baby, watch the baby. Congratulations, Sarah. You baby. hit that like a bomb. <laughs> how, how long ago was this? I mean I love you. So tell me, how many how long or what's this morning? You just found this out this Isn't morning? That's why I'm like, we're having Christmas tonight! I couldn't hold it in anymore. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have an August baby. Okay, what do you think? It's gonna be August or September. What do you think the due date is? Now his birthday is September 7th, Okay. Um, don't do the math, Mom. Just don't throw it just, in the just answer. throw it in there. I'm gonna say if you just found out today. Um September, September 23rd. Dad, what do you think? September 11th. Okay. I'm gonna go with August 12th. Okay, wait. So I'll stand together so I can get you all on film. Okay. <laughs> who's, who's the closest here? Okay. Okay. August 29th. <gasps> Your oh birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> Sarah. Oh my god. Hey, Rob. So I'm just running funny. the family here. Oh my god. August. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> this is so stupid. Let me hold this thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bucket of emotion today, to say the least. Um, but Emma just fell asleep, and we are sitting on the living room floor without a table, eating some bole, mm -hmm. I think it's called. It's pretty good, too. It's actually really good. Um, but they forgot mine, so the, the guy had to go back and get mine. But anyway, it has been a great almost four years here, and we're just enjoying the night. We moved in in uh, August. Uh-huh. Four years ago. Yep. And I gotta show you what I surprised Aria with. Seems that it's our last day here. I got small cakes. It's a bakery here in town. So when she's done with her food, she can get a yummy cupcake. Come here, let's see. Let's see your surprise. Cupcake. <gasps> okay. What do you say? Thank you, cupcake. You got a pink cupcake. Here, give this one to daddy. Say it's it's a peanut butter cup. What is this? A cupcake. What flavor? A little. Peanut butter cup. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Say peanut butter cup. I mean mine. <laughs> is it good? I get on my lips. I know. <laughs> this girl's got a tongue like a gecko. See you guys, that's where you used to eat. It's definitely um, like an emotional thing, you know? All coming to an end here, but you know what they say? Onward, Christian soldiers. I, I like yours. I love you. I love you. It's amazing to me. I keep, keep thinking about like this is the house I really became a man, became a dad, a husband. This is the house where it all happened, and um, <clears throat> it'll always be special to us. You know, we'll always remember it. So pretty crazy. Glad you guys were here for it. My hair is wet because it's like pouring outside. But Robert had to take a load and drop off a bunch of stuff. But my job is done. So I'm coming through, taking one last peek at all the rooms, soaking it all in, and thinking of all the cool memories that we made in this place. I mean, it's bitter, bittersweet. We made so many awesome memories in this house. And. I'm really excited to start new memories in the next house, but this, this home was such a good home for the time we had it. 
There's where Robert did all of his editing. I don't know if you can see that desk behind me. This was his office. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. I can't thank you guys, all of you, enough for following Dear Mom for Dear Meat for Dinner um, and just staying with us on this crazy ride because life just takes you so many different places and you never really know where you're gonna end up. You just end up there and this is our next chapter to enjoy. So thank you guys very, very much um, for hanging on with a crazy ride, <laughs> life of an Arrington. But until next time, take care, God bless, and we are gone.